Welcome to Oracle HTTP Server 12C installation tutorial. Our target today is to install OHS 12C um, software on Linux 64-bit machine and also create an instance uh, from that installation. Um, as uh, 12C installation is a bit different than 11G installation. If you have any questions or comment, uh, feel free to send an email on the address listed here. Let's go ahead and get started. So um, before we start, I just wanted to show you how to maintain, uh, obtain the media for the uh, OHS 12C. So we go to edelivery.oracle.com, um, select the Oracle Fusion middleware as a um, product and your platform. And then from this, um, we have Oracle Fusion middleware 12C media pack. So click here. And then if you go down a bit, um, you can find the Oracle Fusion Middleware 12C Oracle HTTP server uh, for Linux x86 64 bit. So uh, this is the media which I have already downloaded and extracted on the server. So just open a terminal session and I will go into the download folders. And under my download folder, I have created a folder for. OHS 12C. So let's go ahead and run the OHS 12.1.2.0.0 Linux 64-bit dot bin. Okay. Uh, this is the first time we're installing anything on the server, so um, it is a, the installer is asking us to run a um, script to create the um, inventory. So let's click OK, and this is the location where we will find the script. And this is the name of the script we need to execute as a root. Okay, it's starting the installer wizard. All right, so before we go into the installation, um, I would like to go ahead and run that root script. Okay, so I have a terminal session open as a root on the same server. So I will go to the location which we saw on the installer. And that is the script we want to run. Okay. Let's go back to our installation. And click next. This is the uh, home location. You can always change it to uh, your own preference. I am just keeping it to default. Um, you have two options in 12C. Um, you can either uh, create a standalone HTTP server, which is not managed by WebLogic, or we can uh, create a co-located HTTP server, which is managed through WebLogic server. For example, if you want to start and stop um, from an admin console uh, using a node manager. So I'm just going with the first option, standalone. It's going through the uh, prereqs and checking the, all the packages and system is ready for the installation. Okay, so everything checks out. Let's go ahead and click next. I am unchecking this. If you like, you can enter your support credentials here. Go ahead and click next. Yes. Okay. So um, this is a summary for the uh, installation. So this is just laying down the binary, and it's not actual configuration of uh, an OHS instance. So let's go ahead and click install. Okay, it's linking and it's at the final stages of the setup, saving the inventory information.
OK is um, at the last step of post install scripts. The installation is 100% complete. Let's go ahead and click Next. OK, some of the information you may want to note down um, where what the location of the Oracle Home is and uh, the features uh, which are installed as part of the uh, installation. Um, as you can see here, the next step is to create a domain using the configuration wizard, start node manager, and domain servers. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, click finish. Okay, so we are at the download location. So this is the Oracle home location for the um, OHS LC installation we just performed. And at this time, um, I am going to run the configuration wizard to create the OHS instance. Uh, there are multiple directories you can go into. Um, I will execute the config.sh from the OHS common bin directory. As you can see here, um, there's a script here config.sh. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay. Um, either create a new domain or update an existing domain. So we will go ahead and create a new domain. And available, there are multiple templates. Either you can, um, uh, you know, for the, for the OHS, uh, we can use the Oracle HTTP server standalone template. So I'm just click here and go next. Okay. Either we can uh, provide a uh, JDK location or use uh, the Oracle hotspot 1.7, which is out of the box. So I'm just keeping a default. Next. OK. Um, and the we, this is a screen where we can either add a component or uh, choose a component type. We have OHS and we have ODI. ODI is the Oracle uh, Data Integrator, but um, I'm going to choose OHS and leave everything default. Next. Some of the port information. And um, as you can see here that it picked up um, the host address as the um, local IP address. You should change this to the actual fully qualified host name. And these are out of the box standard ports. If you have uh, any custom requirements for the ports, you can change them. And if you want to also use the uh, listen address, which is different than the admin host, uh, you can specify here as well. All right, and um, node manager, uh, you can create a per domain or a custom location. So I'm just keeping it to per domain and then also specify the username and password for the node manager. So I'm keeping it to WebLogic and the password for the WebLogic. Okay, let's go ahead and click next. <laughs> And this is pretty much the summary screen for uh, the, ins the instance uh, creation. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, click Create. OK, um, it is 100% complete. Let's go ahead and click Next. All right, domain configuration succeeded. Let's go ahead and click Finish. All right. So at this time, our um, instance creation for OHS is complete. We can uh, go ahead and start the uh, Node Manager along with the uh, OHS instance. And in order to do that, we will go to the Oracle Home. User Projects, Domains, Base Domain. Um, we didn't actually specify a different name for the base domain, so just keeping it to base domain. And go to the bin directory. 
first we will source uh, run the uh, source the environment by running the set start of env.sh let's go ahead and start the node manager in nohub and i always actually tail the log for the nohub uh, just to make sure that it came up and you can see here that it started on port 5556. Okay, our next step is to start the uh, component. So let's go ahead and run start component. And as a parameter, we need to pass in the component name. So in our case, the component name is OHS1. Okay, so OHS1. And um, this is a stage where we need to enter the password, which we chose for node manager. Okay, so it has successfully started the uh, node manager as well as the uh, OHS instance. And in order to verify that our installation was successful, let's go ahead and go to the landing page for the OHS. Okay, so this is the URL um, we have for the OHS and the standard port, which is 7777. And as we can see here, that we can see the landing page for Oracle HTTP Server 12C. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to send an email or comment. Thank you.